hello and welcome. In today's recipe, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a white chicken chili, and I'm also gonna be pairing this with a delicious crumbly cornbread. You'll need two pounds of ground chicken, one can of white beans, half of a white onion, three roasted and finely chopped tomatillos, three roasted and chopped Anaheim peppers, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one and a half tablespoons of butter, one small bay leaf, half a cup of cotija Mexican cheese. We have one cup of warm water. To our cup of warm water, we're gonna add half a cup of our heavy whipping cream. Add one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon and one tablespoon of instant corn masa. Combine all your ingredients. Once you've combined your ingredients, go ahead and add one teaspoon of ground cumin one teaspoon of sugar, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and half a tablespoon of Mexican oregano. Combine all your ingredients and set it to the side. To your slow cooker, you wanna drizzle a little bit of oil and add your butter. Once your butter melts, go ahead and add your ground chicken. Once you see that your chicken's about 90% cooked and you have it into the bits that you want, you can keep them chunkier or you can keep them super fine. It's gonna be up to you. You're gonna go ahead and add your all-purpose flour. And keep it on sear for another two minutes. And next, you wanna add all the ingredients that we combined. Depending on the quality or the brand of ground chicken that you use, you might need to add just a little bit more uh, heavy whipping cream, which is what I'm doing. That's about half a cup more. Did you do that because you want your chicken to be tenderoni? Yes, I want it to be super tenderoni, just like you. Make sure that when you're mixing, you scrape the bottom of your pot here because you want all that flavor to come through. Mm. Add your cotija cheese. For those of you that don't have access to cotija cheese, you can use your Parmesan cheese, but it's gonna give it more of an Italian flavor, so be careful. Or don't, because we love that flavor. <laughs> Add your tomatillos, your Anaheim peppers, white onion, white beans, bay leaf, and go ahead and mix. And mix gently, give it more of a fold now. That way we keep our beans nice and whole. And now we're gonna slow cook for three hours. And I'll see you guys then. You guys can go anywhere from uh, two to three hours. It's just for the flavors to combine well. Chicken cooks super uh, quick. It's already cooked uh, in the slow cooker. So it's gonna be up to you. And that's what I like about this Instant Pot uh, slow cooker that I can set the time. It could be an hour and a half, three hours, but we're gonna go with three hours today. And boom, done, our chili is ready. Let's pour ourselves a big, big bowl. For our cornbread, you're gonna need corn muffin mix, canned chili, butter, fresh corn, your choice of cheese, milk, sour cream, green onions, onion powder, and garlic powder. And of course, we're gonna need some eggs. What I did is I added my eggs into a bowl and I just uh, beat them up real quick. So go ahead and add your Jiffy Mix into your bowl. Add your onion powder and your garlic powder. Add your milk. Add your eggs. And start combining your ingredients. Once you've combined your batter into a nice little wet batter, not too runny, go ahead and start adding the remaining ingredients. Last but not least, our butter. 
and continue combining all your ingredients. I love to use parchment paper at the bottom of my baking dishes and I'm just going to spritz it with a little bit of this nonstick olive oil. And while I pour the batter into our baking dish, I want to give a special shout out to my nephew E. He is a senior. He looks so handsome for his uh, senior portraits and to all of the seniors out there. You two senior citizens, we love you. Thank you for that shout out. Sweetie. I'm sure you guys look charming. Now we're gonna place our cornbread in our oven at 400 degrees and we're gonna to continue to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes. And all I'm doing here is melting about three fourths of a stick of butter with one tablespoon of sugar. And the sugar's optional, but it definitely brings out the flavor in this cornbread. Once your cornbread's done baking, go ahead and poke a few little holes throughout your bread. And now I'm gonna drizzle melted sugar butter over the top. And boom, done. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say ah. Uh. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios.